Good morning, friends. Happy Monday. Welcome to a new a Week in the Life vlog. Okay, I thought I could vlog a little longer while I was at a stoplight, but we're zooming in the next clip. Back at another stoplight. Once again, happy Monday. I hope you guys had an amazing weekend. Um, my friend, like I said, if you watched my last vlog, she came down all the way from Kansas City with her boyfriend. So we did the farmer's market. We got Tacos El Gordo, which is one of like the Mexican restaurants here in California. Um, that was originally from Tijuana. They have two restaurants here in San Diego now, I think. We got spicy pork and it was just amazing. It was just a great weekend. I felt really sad leaving the girls this morning. Like I had such a good weekend with them and they were just I don't know like I said I really love this age and I just want to soak up every moment that I have and now Ollie's eating solids last night she had some rice with us she really likes that but otherwise she's still combo feeding yeah update that no one asked for I just thought I haven't talked really about the girls that much I'm working on other aspects of my personal life um, so I just feel like I haven't updated you guys as much on my personal life and if you really care I am wearing white after Labor Day because I don't listen to fashion rules at all. I don't think the custodian made it to my room because there's just like random wrappers. I'm curious, do you guys assign homework? Is it one of those things where your admin says that you should have homework? Is it up to teacher discretion? Or is it just kind of any unfinished work? I know it's different everywhere. At our school, it's recommended that we assign homework like Monday through Thursday. My homework is, is the students have their iReady books. We work on iReady workbooks during the day. And then um, there is always a homework page for each lesson that we have. So the students rip that off after they're done with their workbook, put it in their backpack. That's like a part of our routine. But my team teacher and I, we're gonna start doing some spelling as well, just to incorporate a little bit of spelling, a little bit of math. Doesn't take up too much time. It just is things, like I said before, that students already know that we've already gone over. It's just like extra practice. And that's what I think homework should be. I don't think homework should take hours on hours it shouldn't be difficult or challenging it should just kind of go over the things that we've already done maybe challenge them a little bit but mainly to continue their practice let me know what your guys's policy is if you have one like before i really never believed in assigning homework like for me when i was a kid i never really had help with my homework like my parents weren't home when we got home so me even attempting homework i don't even think i ever did homework um and i don't think i ever got in trouble for it not that i know of at least but i just never really did homework i didn't have the help i guess i never really just understood homework like i would put it in my backpack but no one ever checked on me to ask if i had homework i for a long time just never assigned homework especially when i worked in columbia i didn't have to and i usually didn't unless i really really needed the students to get some work done i know that not everyone's circumstances at home are the same or that they're supported at home so i never used to assign it for that reason let's start our day you guys happy monday <laughs> I just dropped my kids off at music every morning right after we come back from specials we have like a 15 minute period until we go to our first recess so we take that time to actually go over our morning work so here is day one they had to write this in standard form fill in the blanks um choose the related addition sentence for this and then round to the nearest ten thousand. um so I just get it ready so when we come back, we go straight into doing that. It usually does take the whole 15 minutes since we're coming back in, transitioning. Students just know right away that we come in, grab our morning workout, and then just get started so that we can get out to recess on time. It is a nice little incentive to have recess like right after because then they wanna hurry and actually get it done, write down their answers.
if you guys are still looking for like a good website to do whenever you have some downtime that's educational but it's still fun for the kids i 100 recommend code.org my kids ask all the time if they can do code.org for free time it's coding it's computer science it has so many different skills that students can work on it will benefit them for their future like i know a lot of websites it's just like it seems like it's all games and play but coding is like something that is really important code.org is hosting like an ai 101 for teachers just because ai is becoming so big and ai is going to be one of like the biggest things for you know other educators to use now that there's so much technology going in i mean ai has always been around but now it's definitely like gone up and it's gotten better ai has just become progressive over the years you know it helps with things like creating assessments creating emails creating worksheets but i think as teachers it's going to be really helpful it just helps teachers become more aware of ai and how to use it in the classroom how to use it safely and creatively i'm going to provide the link down below of the sessions that i've been watching if you want to sign up you can it's totally free there are videos that are really helpful and just help you learn a lot more about like our upcoming technology it is hispanic heritage month we're going to have like different showcases so some classes are doing art some classes are doing dances um traditional music reading books chelsea and i are actually emceeing the assembly that's happening for hispanic heritage month which i'm a little nervous about because i've never done that before but chelsea is really good at public speaking and stuff so i just kind of volunteered with her but my class um we are going to be Fifth grade is going to be celebrating Mexico and celebrating the traditions. So my class actually came up with doing the Mexican star ornament. Um, and basically these ornaments are decorative for like Cinco de Mayo. Um, and that's like the significance of it. But my students really, really wanted to do something art related. So we're doing that. And then we'll be playing traditional music and showcasing it to all the families and um, people at the school. So every Wednesday until our assembly, we're going to be working on our ornaments these are going to be look really cool they're actually 3d and i'm going to add little tassels to the each of each of the points but they color it in and it's just going to be nice and colorful so that will be our new art project once that starts this is the little outfit of the day i always wash my hair on sundays and i usually don't really style it until like middle of the week when my hair looks like it needs a wash i go and straighten it or maybe put some curls through it since my hair is nice and fresh i don't even worry about it. i just put a little bit of dry shampoo usually um no mascara today because too lazy this white button down that's like a little bit oversized is from target i just got it this weekend actually it was 25 dollars, but i like how like professional but also relaxed it looks and then i've got some jeans on and obviously my burks do have to wear like um straps on our sandals if we do wear them so that's why i always have these on and i'm just a big sandal person lanyard is modern made company I'm wearing my apple watch i'm gonna go pick up copies from the copier i am kind of stressed out about our field trip biz town there's just like a lot of stuff to do and i this is my second year doing it before i did have help from my previous team teacher um but I just hope that I know what I'm doing. Like we just have to make sure we get our scholarship through, like the bus funds, um, make sure that our students are ready for their jobs, applying for them and teaching them all the skills before they actually head out to BizTown. Also providing information to the, to the teacher and um, their classroom because my teacher, my team teacher has never been there, doesn't know anything about it. I'm gonna be teaching her class about the jobs at BizTown. I've been there once and I kind of know a little bit of what it's like. I just wanna hype them up and just provide them with as much information as I can because I know for me last year, I was like, what is BizTown? What do I need? What do my students need to know before they go to BizTown? All right, it's time to go pick up the children. I'm here at the gym, ready to do a good old leg day. Usually in the afternoons, Brandon is able to go get the girls. So I actually have like, sorry. I actually have um, this like 45 minute hour block to like actually work out and not have to rush. It's take about 45 minutes. It's not a long time. I have to have this time for myself or else I don't feel like I've been pouring into myself at all. So like this is my slither of time that was just all about me and like I can focus on one thing. When I get home, like I don't vlog or anything. I, the time that I have with the girls and Brandon is like very intentional. So we try to put phones away. We just make sure that we're like focused on each other and just like hanging out, playing, catching up. I feel like it balances out well because I take the girls to daycare and then he picks them up. So I have this time. I'm gonna go in, get this Workout in, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. How wonderful this love could be. And us, we could lie up.
Good morning guys, happy Tuesday. It is a crisp fall morning. It's like 64 degrees outside. This is too happy. It feels wonderful outside. I'm wearing a long sleeve, I'm wearing my glasses. I just feel like in that cozy mood. I had like my heat on in the car this morning. It's Tuesday, which I don't know why. It feels like it's later in the week for some reason, not the beginning of the week, but we will get there. In my last video, someone commented on the desk behind me. I usually have someone that sits behind me just to help keep them focused. And I always like, I don't ever use that as a punishment. It's more to keep that student focused. And I always tell that student like, hey, I'm gonna put you next to me so that you can focus better. But I did change my mind and someone did comment like, hey, why don't you put your teacher's assistant right behind you since they like being next to like the teacher's desk. I thought that was a great idea. Um, and I've never really thought about that, I guess. So um, now my teacher's assistant is gonna be sitting behind me I moved that student back into a group that was closer to me just proximity wise last night oh, last night my stomach was hurting so bad I was up for so long like around 1 a.m. to like 1 30 I feel like my stomach was just not not feeling it this morning not feeling it so I felt like I was just kind of like in and out of sleep last night not really getting a full amount of sleep and I woke up yesterday kind of feeling under the weather too like I kind of had a sore throat and then my nose is definitely a little bit more runny and I don't know actually if that's allergies or if it's um, a cold. I have no idea because I know like a lot of my students, some of my students are actually getting sick. Okay, I have a bunch of essential oils that I made like back in the day and I'm just trying to smell which ones um, will help me clear my nose. Like a peppermint one. I'm gonna apply a little bit of the peppermint one to my throat area and maybe my nose every day when i leave school i feel like my throat just starts hurting either i'm talking more talking louder but i don't know like my throat by the end of the day is just ready to be done also my students are starting their personal narrative writing let me know if you guys have any tips advice or anything that you guys like using when you start writing i have always showed my students teaching without frills her videos we have our own graphic organizer but i always show like um, her videos because it always explains really simply what a personal narrative is or like any kind of writing she pretty much has and she puts it in a very she puts it in very simple terms usually mine's like graphic organizer her video and then brainstorming and stuff that's what's worked best for us i think i'm gonna start this morning off with a little jonas brothers for my students just dropped my kids off at pe um, love seriously love this morning plan time it's so nice Chelsea and I are about to go plan we pretty much have like ELA amplify down and where we can just like go through the slides and we kind of pick and choose what we want to do we are looking over BizTown BizTown also has slides that we go through and we kind of pick and choose um, what we want them to learn what we want them to take out of the all of the lessons there are a lot of lessons for BizTown but we want to pick and choose just because we don't have a lot of time so I printed off the BizTown applications which we'll go over I printed printed off each description of each job and then we're going to be learning about public goods and services today so I just printed that off for both classes. I'm going to go over and play with Chelsea. Back at the gym, another day, another gym session. Really, really don't want to be here but I swear the only way that I can actually clear my mind nowadays after a long day of school is going to the gym or doing at least something that will require like zero thinking and I can just zone out because afterwards I'm like so clear-minded but on the drive here and just like leaving school I'm like what just happened I'm just so exhausted I don't know what it is if it's like this year but I feel like I'm talking over my students so much more like I leave and I feel like I've just exerted so much energy and my throat's just like what did you do? I feel like I'm reminding students like to stop talking when I'm talking all day It feels like I'm trying to give positive praise and then also Talk to my students who are doing, you know, who knows what sometimes I'm not like a big yeller But throughout the day I have to yell at least a couple of times or a few times But it's the other constant reminders that I feel like I'm doing on top of teaching and my body's just just feeling it um, my kids loved my outfit today apparently they're just like you are slaying today's outfit my goal was just to be cozy so i literally remembered my headphones and i never remember so i'm about to bust out this workout i'm doing tricep shoulder and chest yesterday i did legs it's like my sweatiest day let's do it if there's something that you guys do after school like to help you 
rejuvenate yourself tell me what it is like mine's a gym but i wonder if there's anything else that i can do that will help me clear my mind that's just like easy for me let me know what you guys do I see. Yeah. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. I passed a lot of stoplights on my way to work, but I was just putting on mascara and random thought. I was thinking like when I lived in Missouri, most of my students for snack time, they'd be eating hot Cheetos, Takis, like anything spicy or anything just like chips, like the basic snacks that you would usually eat as a kid. But now that I'm in San Diego, my kids, the majority of them are eating like watermelon with tahini, pineapple tahini, cucumber tahini, or um, seaweed. Like I never have seen kids go crazy for seaweed until I got to San Diego so kind of interesting what do your students eat for snacks I want to know this is my bad habit just leaving empty mugs that I don't really ever take out oh no not a good sign I am such an imposter for this shirt. It says, hi, it's me. I'm the teacher, it's me. Um, sorry, I'm not a Swifty, but I like this shirt, so I'm admitting now that I'm an imposter. Here's my outfit, graphic tee. I'll try my best to link everything down below. Like, I usually secondhand shop where I have old styles, so I usually can't link anything, and I'm not trying to tell anyone to like buy more. I just am giving inspiration. I love these wide leg pants. They're just corduroy wide leg pants. And I'm wearing my I'm wearing my mules today from Target. These mules are Target. I'm just getting my morning work like review ready so then when students come in after um, our first recess we just get straight to it. I actually haven't been using students versus teachers as much. I've mainly been doing um, table points so these are the names of table points. Um, it's just like what's working for my students right now and I just feel like sticking to one right now that really works is just what's gonna be good for me. Y'all are speedy fast today. I know I've been really bad with updating you guys on what's actually going on. So I know I've been really bad at updating you guys on like what's going on, but it's just been busy, busy days. We did a little bit of biz town this morning. Now my kids are creating different products that they need to sell, that they need to market. So yesterday we talked a lot about different resources, how you have to have resources, how you have to have money to start a business. And so my students got into groups. They're coming up with their own product. So for example, you guys saw some things they're trying out mini vending machine. Um, some students are doing like a food kit that has like everything in the kit that you want to make just random things like that that's just creative they're gonna need to tell me the price of everything and also present it to the class which is gonna be the marketing portion so they're having really having a lot of fun with that and then we're just talking about how the price of things matter why things are not free products goods services those kinds of things and then we did a little bit of ELA so like I said we are starting our personal narratives and I love like the hamburger outline graphic organizer thing um, I think it's the most organized and I just did my own example Right now, I feel like the main thing with writing is my students have a hard time thinking like a paragraph is just a paragraph. We're not writing a whole story. So sometimes it's like, I feel like I'm being clear, but my students will go in and write like a whole story, even though I said we're just writing detailed sentences to start our one beginning paragraph. I spend a lot of time like reiterating and trying to help students who, you know, writing is just hard. I feel like I always need a lot of help in writing and it's just one person. So one of my students who finished their paragraph, their beginning paragraph, I had them go around and help other students. And that's like the thing I like doing. I know it's hard for every grade or even like 
certain grades to do that. Now I'm going to lunch. Um, we have leftover Mediterranean food. I got like a chicken bowl. So that's what I'm having for lunch with some pita chips. <sighs> it's one of those days where I've like haven't gone to the bathroom all day and I just need to go to the bathroom or else I'll explode. It is the end of the day. On Wednesdays, we usually have some type of PD to end off our day, and today's PD was really nice. We talked about SMART goals, but we also just looked at data and things like that. It was just like a really good PD session, um, and I feel like sometimes that always doesn't happen with PD. I personally don't mind PD um, because it, I don't know, it's almost like a little break from teaching and just being in the classroom. So I don't mind PD. I know some people honestly just hate PD. Got a lot of stuff done, it felt like. Earlier, I don't know if I mentioned, I was showing you guys like all the BizTown products. Yes, I did mention that, okay. I survived wearing heels today. My toes definitely hurt a little bit, but whatever, I chose this life today. I'm headed to the gym again. Gonna do a quick like full body workout. Gonna get the girls and then, yeah. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Didn't, didn't, didn't. Good morning. Happy Friday, guys. Chelsea, the best team teacher ever, got me a coffee. She even made pasta and brought me some because she made this black garlic pasta and it's delicious. Um, I'm currently grading the morning work assessment. I just dropped my kids off at PE. Chelsea and I are about to plan. It's been a busy, busy week, it feels like. Because they're doing name narratives in it, though. Students work on images to illustrate their name narrative. Yeah, We're obviously not doing that. Oh, honestly, lesson seven, we could skip that. Because okay. lesson seven is literally writing about the, like doing a name narrative and we're already doing personal narrative. Yeah. We don't even need to do lesson seven at all then. And then we could do page 7.1. Yeah, because it's like at least point, it Review the point definition of point of view, have students answer questions one through three independently. I remember that last year I did partner work for that, but we don't have to. It's one through three it's like how does she feel about her name what does she want to change about it it is now lunchtime i know like every time i try to vlog i get cut off but anyways um great morning chelsea brought me a coffee she also made some like black garlic pasta which is amazing and she brought me some so i'm very excited to eat that for lunch i said earlier in this vlog that like writing has just been a little bit of a struggle but today i took the time to just work with my students who really needed to finish their beginning paragraphs and everyone else did like i ready reading or finished up their other paragraphs they did epic and read a book on fridays i like to use that time for ela to kind of catch up on whatever we need to do so that we start monday just fresh and ready to go I made my first anchor chart for iReady. I love doing this. I just, it's kind of like a fall mug is what I was going for. Fall in for iReady. And then what I like to do to help my students have autonomy in their work, I just have them write their initials and then color it in there. So they're just really excited about that. So we're on a rainy day schedule, which means the kids actually eat up at the front. But I'm going to lunch. And actually, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog off here. Our friends are coming down this weekend. We're gonna hang out with them all weekend. They're staying with us. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.